Julie O'Connor. I'm a Senior Conservation Officer with Sunshine Coast Council. I coordinate the Turtle Care Program, which is um, a community partnership between Sunshine Coast Council, community and Department of Environment and Resource Management. Turtle Care is about conserving an endangered species, and particularly here on the, the Sunshine Coast, it's about conserving the loggerhead turtle. We help the loggerhead turtles uh, in their breeding season uh, to try and make sure that we can get as many as possible of the young ones out to the water once they're hatched. We sort of monitor the Sunshine Coast, which is pretty much the southerly uh, most point where you get regular, reliable nesting of the loggerhead, occasional green turtles as well. They'd have been nesting here for millions of years. Um, of course now it's a big issue for them because they're not in such an untouched, pristine environment. They're sharing the environment with um, a lot of people here on the Sunshine Coast. So there's a lot of uh, factors that, that impact on their nesting. This is a mesh that we use to uh, cover up the nest once we find the eggs. Um, we have a fox problem here on the beaches between Point Cartwright and Caloundra and um, this actually, the hatchlings can come through this mesh, but the foxes generally can't get in. Foxes that were introduced by people in the mid 1800s, um, they're a significant predator of um, nesting loggerhead turtles here. And that's the major role of the community group is finding these nests, meshing them with fox, proof, or with fox exclusion mesh, and then just monitoring them until they hatch. We don't interfere with the young ones as they're going down. We like to see them make their own way down. They don't need our interference. Um, they've been doing this for millions of years. They, they don't need our help to get to the beach. It's really important that they walk that distance from the nest to the beach. As they're going, they're building strength, which helps them once they reach the water. And also they're registering the, the dip and slope of the Earth's magnetic field as they're walking to the beach as well, which helps them later on in life when they find it navigating their, their way around to different feeding and nesting areas. So it's, it's pretty much important that you just respect that this is a natural process and just let nature take its course. Yeah, I've been on the coast here at least 25 years and it's only the last six years or so that I became aware that loggerheads or and greens are actually nesting on the beach here. So by taking an interest in things, uh, watching what's happening on our beaches, we can uh, help uh, keep the beaches clean for the future. Everyone can do their bit to help the turtles. If you're a local or a, or a holiday maker, if you're walking along the beach and you see rubbish, pick it up. I pick up probably a kilo of rubbish every day off the beaches. There's a lot of plastic out there. If you're fishing, don't leave your fishing line around. Um, fishing line can hang around the environment for 600 years, capturing things and, and entangling turtles. And also, if you're a local, during nesting season and during uh, hatchling season, which is February to April. If you're lucky enough to see hatchlings and you have torches with you, keep them off. We don't like flash photography and torches because they tend to disorientate the turtles as well. The hatchlings respond very strongly to any light. Their, their natural instinct is to go towards the ocean. Um, it's the sound of the ocean that attracts them and also they go to the, the brightest light lowest on the horizon. So. If you've got torches around on the sand, they'll start turning around and going towards those. And it really can be quite disastrous for them because they're wasting valuable energy chasing lights all over the sand when they should be going directly to the ocean. If you're down on the beach and you see a female coming up to nest, the best thing to do is just sit down right where you are. Any movement will, will startle her and she might be quite likely to go back. It's a great idea, we always say, to have the turtle care our contact phone number in your mobile if you're a regular beach goer, which is 0437 559067. You can call one of the volunteers, just sit quietly, call it, call that number, we'll get volunteers out to see if the turtle's tagged. We also won't disturb the turtle until she actually starts to lay, and then once she's finished that process, we'll measure her, tag her if she hasn't been done, been tagged already. Um, and then measure her and then let her go back to the ocean and then we'll mesh the nest. The volunteers are fantastic, they're, they're wonderful people. Some of them have been doing this for many years. You can see in the background the Charlie's Angels gang here, they like to call themselves. We know that the turtles have come up and laid their eggs for a long time. 
and they don't really need us to interfere, but what they do need us for is to protect them, and, and it's mainly to protect them from what man has done or with the foxes coming in and things like that. Without the community on this project, we wouldn't be having the success we're having with uh, protecting turtles. And there's a lot of people helping, and it's good. And it's good for our environment here. And I wouldn't give it up for anything. <laughs> no. <laughs>